I have a 16 gig iPhone 5S and I recently realized I was running low on space. I only had a gig free so I went in and deleted all my pictures and videos that I didn't need and that freed up about 2 gigs. I don't have a ton of apps and I don't store music on my phone so there were still a few gigs that I needed to track down. I went to settings, general, and usage and I realized that iMessage is taking up over 2 gigs and even if you click on messages you don't have the ability to manage this. This video will show you how to delete the saved messages. First, plug your phone into your computer and open up iTunes. When iTunes recognizes your phone, click on it and choose Backup Now. When your backup completes, you can confirm the last successful backup by looking here. Next, open up a web browser and do a search for iBackupBot. When you click the link that takes you to their site, click on Download. Here you'll see a list of all the versions whether you have a Windows or a Mac. Click the download free trial for whatever OS you run. I've already downloaded it, but click save and run the installer. Once it's installed, go to your applications and click on iBackup Bot. Once the app opens, you're gonna to wanna to take a look in the left hand side under backups. Expand the folder for your last backup that iTunes just made. You're gonna click on the multimedia file manager. There are four tabs across the top. Choose Other Multimedia Files. Next, you're going to want to click on File Name to sort by file name, but I did notice that this can cause the app to crash. After a few more crashes, I was able to sort by file name. Next, find all the files with Media Domain slash Library slash SMS slash Attachments. Highlight them and select Delete. If you want to save these attachments before you delete them, then just click on Export first. So if your app crashed when you try to sort by file name, just scroll down and select all these files and click delete. Once you delete them, you'll need to then click on system files, media domain, library, SMS, and attachments. Everything that you just deleted will be listed here. So do a control A, Apple A, or just select all of them whatever way you prefer and choose delete. Click yes to confirm that you want to delete them and wait for them to delete. Once they've all deleted, we're going to need to restore your iPhone, so open iTunes. When iTunes opens up, choose Restore Backup. Click Restore and wait for your phone to restore. You now should be restoring your phone from a backup that does not have those attachments any longer, so you should regain that space. Once your phone is restarted and iTunes detects it, click on your phone and see how much space you now have available. Or you can just use your phone now to check and see how much space you have available.